Hello, the topic name you have seen population ecology. I have taken this topic from Campbell biology. Uh, here I am going to discuss about the dispersion pattern of population. Dispersion means the distribution pattern of population. Okay, so let's discuss here. Dispersion pattern. The dispersion pattern. Uh, okay. Uh, dispersion pattern as you have seen written the dispersion pattern of population refers to the way individuals are placed within their area okay how the individuals or species are placed in the area particular area okay that pattern is known as dispersion and the literal term in my last slide i told the literal meaning of the term dispersion means distribution okay distribution here this one and there are three main kinds of dis dispersion pattern of the population first one is clumped dis dispersion second one is uniform dispersion and third one is random dispersion from the name you can draw uh, get an idea that clump dispersion means there is uh, the dispersion is not uniform and uh, the species are aggregated okay that means they form aggregation or clumps in the particular area okay like this this is called as clumped dispersion okay so here these are clump dispersion clump dispersion now the second point is uniform dispersion from the name you can understand that the population or species of the particular population are draw dispersed uniformly that means the gap between two species or habitat range between two species have certain draw limit so that they can assess the resources like food space and uh, other uh, biotic abiotic factors and inter interaction among them has certain uh, space so that they can assess everything equally uh, that due to the kind of uniform dispersion okay and now come to the random dispersion that there is no gap or no certain uh, space uh, among the organisms they are distributed randomly on and have on a habitat okay that is called as random dispersion uh, in this um, class we will discuss about the clump dis dispersion okay here clump dis dispersion pattern is the most common pattern found in the ecology or habitat it is very often we can see this uh, in this dispersion pattern individuals are grouped in patches okay so i already i mentioned this these are grouped like patches the most common dispersion pattern in nature second point clump clumping often result why this clump distribution occurs from an unequal distribution of resources in the environment example plants and fungi may be clumped in areas where soil conditions and other factors favor germination and growth that means where the food resource here is the food okay uh, food here is the food availability of food Uh, in this particular area so that many flies from different or surrounding area come here and aggregate okay the resource is food so that they are uh, aggregated in the area where food availability is more and it results to the clumping of the flies okay and this results uh, these are flies so it results clumping pattern of distribution and clumping pattern of distribution especially occur due to the richness of habitat or food or any biotic or abiotic factors that is enhancing the growth of the population okay and uh, this results the patches of the species for example plants 
fungi where plants is getting more food light that uh, population will increase so, uh, so as in fungi okay and here clumping animals are often results from uneven food distribution food distribution are not evenly even okay because foods uh, you know that animals uh, consume both uh, plant products and animal products so these foods are available according to their favorable surrounding or environment that's why the availability of food is uneven and it leads to uneven distribution of population and this results to clumping of the species or population uh, examples are sea stars yeah sown in the group together where food is abundant okay uh, give me a moment Uh, here. Uh, here I am sewing. The summary of the clump distribution. Hmm. Clump dispersion or uh, dis dispersion. Okay. I am repeatedly telling distribution. Distribution is also the right term. Yeah. Uh, let's say this is an area or habitat and these are the aggregation of plants here plants are aggregated and this is other plants and in this particular area these are also other plants it is one patch of the plant it is another patch of the plant it is another patch of the plant so this forms the clumping of plant population plant population okay and it is the most common pattern common pattern of population dispersion dispersion okay and why Next question is why clump dispersion occurs. The cause due to uneven food distribution in the habitat. Uh, food distribution are uneven because the plants are grown in different uh, uh, patches and this clump distribution distribution is form or forming patches okay patches of species patches of species and this patches is synonym of clump distribution uh, the plants or animals they don't get all the required elements for that uh, growth and development where they get they grow in that particular area and that particular area becomes the food for other organisms that's why the organisms aggregate where the resources are available and it is the leading cause of clumping dispersion of uh, organisms okay and uh, this is also called as past population okay
one minute i'm just uh, returning to the slide here yeah. and examples i have shown here c stars and food c stars especially where food are available thank you for watching